Hello, dear colleagues. Let me introduce our study, Russian MOOCs in the Russian Education System. My name is Nadia Galimulina, and I represent the team of authors from several Russian universities. The information about all the authors is represented in the slide. Today, mass open online courses provide access to education from famous educational establishments and professionals, regardless of ge geographical or financial restrictions. This is the key for popularity of such platforms on the one hand and a focused attention of researchers on the other. A number of works are devoted to the experience of using MOOCs in certain countries. Others present the results of a longitude study of MOOCs integration into traditional education and their impact on academic achievements or allow tracing the dynamics of quantitative or qualitative characteristics of the Russian mass learning platforms. Analysis of a contemporary Russian mass open online courses as a part of Russian education was carried out by empirical material collecting and assessing. The research methods are a pooling of students about the issue of MOOCs and their use in the educational process, as well as a comparative analysis of the Russian educational online platforms, Open Education, Stepik, Intuit, Universarium, and Lectorium. During the research, we pulled 107 bachelor students of the second and third academic years. The key issue of pooling was to discover the level of a student's awareness of MOOCs, their personal experience of learning with these resources, and their attitude to the possible integration of online learning with the traditional higher education system. Analysis of the responses showed that two thirds of the students, 67%, are aware of the existence of the platforms with MOOCs. Most of them know the Russian platforms Lectorium, 60%, Open Education, 49%, and Stepik, 32%. Most of the respondents aware of the MOOCs discovered them accidentally. 42% of the respondents learned about the courses from advertisements. 29% from friends. 38% of students learned about the opportunities for online learning from their professors. We said most professors either merely inform students about the opportunity to take such courses or recommend taking them voluntarily. Only for 6% of students, MOOCs were included into the obligatory syllabus by their professors. 61% of those who knew about the existence of educational online platforms and 41% of the total number of respondents took a courses. The most popular were the engineering, technical and physical mathematical courses, including those related to information technologies. In general, the respondents were highly satisfied with online learning. Most of them characterized the courses as interesting, useful, topical, 
and contain new information. Most of respondents spoke up for inclusion of such courses into the curriculum due to their potential usefulness, but solely on the voluntary basis. While 12% are ready to recognize them as obligatory for mastering. Only 8% of the respondents estimated the current volume of a study material as sufficient. Over 80% of respondents would like to get a document confirming passing an online course. Most of respondents are interested in engineering technical courses, disciplines related to management and economics, studying language as well as those aimed at developing superdisciplinary universal competences. The least popular are the humanities, 20% and natural science, 14%. At that, the absolutely majority of respondents would prefer practical sessions, demonstrating how to solve practical tasks and studying specific techniques. You can see the results of our study at this slide. The non-state educational private institution for additional professional education into it national open university is little known to the full students. In our opinion, this is due to the fact that the platform is virtually not integrated into the higher education system. National platform for open education is currently the second largest platform of mass open online courses in Russia. It's 750 courses are developed by the representatives of the leading Russian higher educational establishments. For example, uh, National Research University High School of Economics offers 119 courses St. Petersburg State University, 140 free courses. The platform offers the largest number of courses for professional engineering training. They constitute almost a quarter of all proposed disciplines. There is a wide choice of physical and mathematical disciplines. 131 courses out of 750. Another feature of open education is the declared orientation towards broad cooperation with universities. Online courses can be included into the curricula of any Russian university. All courses are developed in compliance with the requirements of federal state educational standards and the developer guarantees compliance with their requirements to study results or the educational programs implemented at universities. Each course contains a description of a discipline workload which facilitates the integration of online learning into traditional education. Besides, uh, the open education platform indicates the obligation of documenting such interaction in every individual case. Partner universities must create an internal normative base for transferring credits for online courses and inform their students about this opportunity. This is another reason for hindering the introduction of online learning into traditional educational programs. 
some courses on Slapic indicate not only the average time spent for studying the new materials per week, but also the numbers of credit hours too. Such marking apparently implies further integrations with the system of higher education, as we can see it at the open education case. According to the polling results, Lectorium is the most popular platform for online education. One may assume that uh, such popularity is due to the project orientation at diversified audience and at several groups of audience at a time. 98 courses are aimed at specialists, 96 at university entrance, 76 at school children, and 35 at parents. Acquaintance with the courses is likely to have taken place during studying at a secondary school. The courses by Universarium imply, first of all, forming the competences of cognitive character, as they are aimed at consolidating knowledge in the broad humanitarian and social spheres, including soft skills development. Such courses constitute over half of all available disciplines. Thus, modern education platforms in the internet offer a wide range of various courses, from general educational to narrowly specialized professional and super disciplinary soft skills. That said, their interaction with universities started to be systematical and comprehensive, including both taking into account of the specificity of the Russian official uh, educational standards and introduction various forms of joint work. This includes documenting on, of and legal support of the interaction between educational online platforms and universities their joint projects, indication of their courses, workload in credit hours, and opportunity to credit transfer their studied MOOC at university. There is an apparent trend of mutual convergence of the MOOC technologies and traditional higher education, which is due to the both requirements of the non-standard current situation in Russia and the world under the pandemic, and the natural development of the educational services market related to the new demands of a society. The high demand for online education and its position in the educational system are reflected in the polling results. Most of the polled students 79%. Recognizing the undeniable usefulness of the MOOCs, consider them to be a supplement to the main traditional education. At the same time, a third of the respondents were not aware of the existence of such resources, while those who were aware of them received information about the causes from the sources not related to a university, and only 38% received it from their professors. Both universities and educational online platforms note the difficulties related to the lack of legal basis for successful cooperation. It proves that the two educational forms under consideration have not been integrated yet. 